talking to dealerships across the country, I've gotten the chance to, to get to know a lot of great car people and I'm always asked, how can we improve our social? How can we get a better reach socially? How can we expand our digital visibility? And the one thing that I can share honestly with everyone across the board that there seems to be a real lack of, the key to social media is right there in the words social media. Be social. You wouldn't walk into a bar and just yell out, hey everyone, I sell cars, and stop the whole activity. You walk in, you meet somebody, you share an interest, you're watching a game on TV, the conversation's going and you say, hey, what do you do for a living? I sell cars. Then the guy says, hey, give me your card. When I'm in the market, I'm going to come see you. That's exactly how social media should be approached. You want to build some trust, establish that you know what you're doing, that you're a good person to work with, you're a good company to work with because we have good people working for us. And you want to expand that community online. So it's not about selling a car today. It's about when those folks are ready to buy a car, it's, the decision's already been made. They know where they're going to go. So it's not where, it's when. Are they going to come next week? Are they going to come next month? Are they going to come next year? They're going to come see you because you've engaged them, you've entertained them, you've informed them, you've kept them knowledgeable about what you're doing in your community and who you are. They don't need to know that you sell cars. If a customer ends up on a Facebook page that's ABC Motors, they probably assume that you sell cars. So if you're just blasting them with car sale information, low interest rates and all that stuff, you're going to turn them off. They know that you sell cars, so there's a place for that. It's called broadcast media. Put an ad in the paper. Don't put your ad on Facebook. You'll see some great success.